It started in 2008, the year of the rat. Could the artist known as Eric Kay complete his vision of 366 artistic renderings of rats? We followed Eric Kay for a year through his website www.rataday.com. It started in 2008, the year of the dog. Could the artist known as Eric Kay complete his vision of 366 artistic renderings of dogs? We followed Eric Kay for a year through his website www.dogadayproject.com. It would become a project that would take the artist on an emotional roller coaster, flinging him from elation to frustration, then some more elation, followed by more frustration, followed by more elation, followed by more frustration, followed by elation, followed by frustration, and. It didn't take long for the artist known as Eric Kay's faithful household companions to become drawn into the project, literally and metaphorically. Indeed, the artist's most faithful companion was regularly forced to enact some of Eric Kay's more lurid and bizarre fantasies. Much about the artist's muse remains a mystery. Multiple attempts to interview her have failed to produce results. Dogs now consumed every waking moment of the artist known as Eric Kay's life. When out walking, he was often heard muttering to himself and eyeing the landscape suspiciously. I see Cocker Spaniels. As for the artist's other faithful companion, she reluctantly agreed to step out of the artist's shadow to speak to us, but on the condition that her voice would be disguised. What's wrong with it? It came as no surprise when the artist known as Eric Kay's dogs left the computer screen and took on a life of their own. With his slender, nimble fingers finding their true purpose, the artist fashioned his first papercraft dog. Encouraging his readers to do the same, Eric Kay hoped to create a new army of paper dogs that might one day rise up from their desks and the tops of Christmas trees and, uh, uh, Eric, what did you hope they'd do? But it wasn't all play. And at times, Dog -a Day took the artist known as Eric Kay to the precipice of danger. As his feral side emerged, new sleeping places had to be found. Wild and impulsive actions became the norm and his art sunk to new levels of angst. Mealtimes became a struggle between the artist and his most faithful companion, who could only watch in horror and bemoan the cruel twist of fate that left her without opposable thumbs. As fall arrived, trouble was brewing and the artist known as Eric Kay's primary medium of artistic self-expression, or MAC, began its first rumblings of dissent. An occasional refusal to save, a temporary freeze. No one could have predicted what came next. Or could they? When the explosion finally came, it was noisy and brutal. Dog -a Day was under threat. A barely coherent Eric sacrificed sleep and sanity to keep his vital instrument alive. Through a mix of tough love and a tender touch, the artist was finally rewarded as his instrument rose again. Dog a Day was saved. It is perhaps fitting that December brought the most startling revelation of the project. In the greatest theological find of the century, Eric Kay discovered God's original design plans for the dog, scribbled on a cocktail napkin. A miracle indeed. At year's end, the artist known as Eric Kay had completed 366 dogs, 315 drawings, 19 games and toys, 33 photos, 6 videos and 9 essays. And so Dog A Day came to a close, and after a period of dog detox, the artist known as Eric Kay reintegrated himself into everyday life with his two faithful companions at his side. Since the making of this documentary, 
The artist known as Eric Kay has been largely dog-free. Occasional slips have occurred, but the artist continues to repeat his mantra of simply taking one dog at a time.